Hey guys, what's up? So, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but today I've got a really good video for you guys. I got this MacBook from my pastor's wife um, with the intent of fixing it up and giving it back. I've already done the restoration on it, um, evident by the battery on the bottom. But I'm going to show you guys what I did, and I'm going to show you guys the changes I've made, and then I'm going to show you guys how to install Mac OS onto a MacBook that you've wiped the hard drive of, um, like I did, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So, uh, let's jump into this, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the MacBook over. And now, this little slot here is what holds the battery in, so, I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and a bit, and open it up. I'm just turning it until it lines up with the unlock symbol. And now we're just going to stand this up so the battery can fall out. Awesome. Okay. It should be noted here. There will be a bracket right here. However, I lost mine. So, to remove the bracket, you would unscrew screws that are here, 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 and here, I believe. From here, you can follow these instructions to rem remove the RAM chips by just pulling these levers to the left. And then just sliding out the chip, and the same thing over here, sliding out the chip. So should you need to remove the hard drive like I am, you need to remove the two screws from here and here, the two screws from the other side here and here, and then from the back, here, here, and then he here and here. The two screws in the middle are longer, and the ones on the edges have the bigger standoffs. And don't forget, you need to remove all of these screws from the inside here. There's a whole bunch of them. And you need to remove the two from right here and right here. Not the ones by the connector, but the others. The ones by the battery connector are longer than the others. So now, this will be a little loose, so be careful. So, now you can open the MacBook and use a flat tip screwdriver now to pry the keyboard up. You'll hear a bunch of snaps along the edges. Don't worry, it's not breaking anything, that's just the plastic snaps releasing, okay? I got this corner up. Be careful, but you can just pop it up on both sides. Okay? But don't just yank it off because there is a cable underneath. Um, just reach in and pull it out or just let it come out. Okay. And then put the keyboard aside. Now that the keyboard is off, you can take this hard drive and just push on it slightly. Just begin to slide it out, put, slide it out completely straight, because there are four screws, one, two, three, four, on the bracket for this cover. So, for replacing the hard drive, we're going to take the cover off. This requires a hex T8 um, driver. So here's the hard drive that was in it. Um, for example, yours might be dead, but I don't need this for this computer anymore. So I'm going to get this brand new one over here. Um, it's a 250 gig drive, same form factor as the other one. So we're going to put the mount back on it, making sure that the mount covers the logic board side, so either green or blue side, and that this hole up here lines up with the SATA connector, because that's how it's supposed to go on. And then on the side here, make sure all your holes line up, and then just put your screws in. Once you have your bracket fully screwed in, then you're going to take your hard drive with the SATA connector on the right and the bracket on the bottom, and you're going to slide it in to... There are two grooves on this MacBook. 
one on each side for the screws to line up with to go in. So just put the hard drive in, make sure the first two screws are lined up, and then push it straight in until you get to the connector. In that case, make sure it's firm and in. Okay. Now that we've done that, while we're here, we're also going to put the RAM back in. So in this orientation, the RAM goes with a lot more on the right side. And so we're just going to put it into the slot, making sure it clicks. Okay, it clicked. And same thing with this. Okay. Um, you can see when this was manufactured. This MacBook specifically was 2008. It looks like March 15th, which is my grandmother's birthday. That's funny. So this is everything inside redone that I need to do. So now we got to be careful getting this back in because you have to get the angle just right. There's a piece of tape here. I think you can remove it, but I'm not going to. So this connector goes right here on the board, right on the underside left of the fan. So this is really hard to show on camera. So more or less, you're just going to set the board on and then do your best to reach and plug it in to the connector that's on and then put down the keyboard. Start with the left hand side and then put the right in because there are more places on the left that it snaps into. And now we will close this up so that we can put the screws back in. So when you're re-putting the screws in, you need to remember that the ones with the shorter standoff and the screws that are longer overall, those go in the right hand side, so the side by the disk drive. Don't be like me who put them in backwards. Okay. Now the following steps work on Windows as well as on Mac, so you can use it on either software, it doesn't really matter. So, once you've downloaded the files that I linked in Google Drive, um, if you haven't done on that yet, do it now. Um, everything is safe, 100% legit, um, and I know a lot of people say that, but they don't mean it. I am sincere when I say this, everything is actually legit. I would never put a virus on there, as I think you guys would understand. So now, um, now that we installed Belina, we're going to launch it. So I have it in my utilities folder, and we're just going to launch it as soon as it loads. Um, plug your flash drive into your computer. I already did. You can see it's mounted here, flash drive. So then we're going to select the image. Um, in this case, we want um, either Snow Leopard or Lion. I've linked both in the description. They're also in that Google Drive folder. I'm going to use Snow Leopard because that's what I know works. Um, at least for right now. Um, I do know Lion works because I updated the laptop to Lion um, once I gave it back. So then open. Uh, make sure that your flash drive is selected here. In this case, it's the only thing that can be selected. So continue. And then we're just going to flash it. And as soon as it's... Oh, you might need your password. And then as soon as it's done, you can unplug it and continue on in the video. So now we're all set. Um, I have the flash drive here with our operating system, and I have a USB receiver for my mouse because that's what I'm going to use. So we're going to plug both of these in. Now, it, I do very much suggest that while you're installing the operating system that you do, in fact, plug in the MacBook. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to run my charger over to the MacBook and plugged in. So now booting it up, what you want to do is... When you push the button, hold the option key. That way you get the boot menu. It should display the boot menu in a minute. Or in about 30 seconds. Or less. Okay, there we go. We have two options here. Mac OS install DVD and then EFI boot. So we're going to click Mac OS install DVD and let it load. Which I'm doing my best to display. I get it can be a bit fuzzy. So we're going to click on the blue arrow to go forward. Okay, and then install Mac OS. Okay, you, we're going to wipe the hard drive first. So go utilities, disk utility. And then where you see your hard drive up here, it should be the first one. We're going to go over and click erase. Uh, I'm going to name it DB MacBook because those are the initials of the lady I'm giving this back to. And then we're going to click Erase. Make sure it says Mac OS Extended Journaled. And then Erase. And let it run its course. Okay, 
So it finished, and so now we can just close this. We're going to click continue. Uh, just agree. And then click on that hard drive that it shows. So for me, it's a DB MacBook. Click install, and it's going to install. I will come back to you guys as soon as it is done installing. So the MacBook has finished installing. It's actually going to reboot, but I'll manually restart it. Okay, we can now take out the installation drive. And that's where I'm going to end setup because I'm not the one keeping this computer, so I'm not going to set it up and sign it into my account. Okay guys, so like I said before, um, I apologize that I haven't done a video in almost a year. I've been really, really busy and I've had a whole bunch of stuff to do, but now that things have calmed down a little bit, um, I've got, you know, a new setup. Well, not really new, just, you know, rearranged. Um, new laptop, everything up and running. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos um, pretty soon, um, including um, installing uh, Mojave, Mac OS Mojave, on a Windows computer. That's actually what I did to my laptop, um, and I've been loving using Mac OS for everything. It's so nice. So that video will be dropping probably, that'll probably be the next one. And then I'm doing an updated video on running Sierra, or in this case, you know, a couple of years past, so probably Mojave or High Sierra on Ubuntu or Mint or one of the equivalent Linux systems and as well on Windows. And then I'm also going to do, you know, some videos explaining how I made my hack top, I call it, or hack book or whatever, because, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, look for those videos to be dropping in the near future. Um, but for now, um, click up here to subscribe and then over here to watch one of my older videos. I will be, however, removing some of my older videos and replacing them and just, you know, getting rid of them completely. I'm going to leave one or two that are really, really popular, but other than that, they're gone. So, on that note, I will see you guys next time. 